Michael Shanger, a.k.a. a less hairy Ariel Hawani, here with Mark Boots Holst getting ready for his March 28th Rec 2.0 fight at Casino Lac de Limi. Um, Mark, how are you feeling? How's uh, training been for uh, this fight? Training camp has been doing uh, very well. Uh, I got the whole team behind me, and uh, I'm really excited to make my uh, lightweight uh, comeback. Uh, you know, so I'm dieting hard, I'm training really hard, staying, keeping my weight low, and uh, yeah. So far, so good. No injuries, and uh, I'm ready to uh, to put on a good show for Ottawa Gatineau. So your last fight was at welterweight. wasn't the most uh, happy outcome to it. What is it like to to drop to lightweight coming from welterweight? Is there is there a big challenge there, or what kind of work do you have to put in? De definitely a big challenge for the uh, you know the uh, kind of like the different kind of uh, training for the cardio and also for the running. Um, also the dieting. Uh, play, places a, a really big factor into training, so uh, you know low carbs slash no carbs. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not I'm not a big fan, but I I believe that you know I'm made for fighting at lightweight, um, and uh, I'm a pretty tall lightweight. And welterweight was good. Like yeah, I can fight here and there. So some of the guys I, I I could fight at welterweight, but the the guys are really big, really strong. So I'm happy to to, to be fighting at uh, my natural uh, fight weight, which is uh, 155 at no. lightweight division. Now your your opponent isn't yet named for this upcoming fight. How does that affect your preparations for it? Um, it it's tough, obviously, you know, because I don't know who I'm going to be fighting: a ground guy, a wrestler, a striker. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that obviously in MMA fights we want to plan. Um, but I've been training for everything, and I'll be ready for everything. I just want to put on a good show. Uh, my last fight wasn't the most entertaining, so I want to uh, I want to come back and uh, and have a entertaining fight. So. Um, uh, I do have an opponent, it's just I don't know who, it, who he is yet. <laughs> That's right. We hope he's ready. Now, uh, Rec 2.0 uh, is, of course, the reincarnation of Rec. We thought that there wasn't going to be a Rec card for a while. How exciting is it for you, uh, a hometown man, to, to have a fight in your backyard, especially under the Rec banner? Uh, Rex has always been really good, you know, like putting on fights for uh, for Ottawa Gatineau, our hometown, and it's always fun to fight hometown, and, uh, you know, it's it's... It's always like you know, easy, easy. You don't have to travel. You get to cut weight at home and stuff like that, and you get to really focus more on uh, you know the training camp here. So uh, there's obviously definitely a lot more pressure because all my friends, my family, my students here at Oama uh, are all going to be here, you know, watching me fight. But uh, it's a good kind of pressure. So it's fun to have Rec back, and I'm happy it's back. Hopefully, it'll be here to stay. But you know, Nick's a good friend of mine, and I know that uh, it uh, puts a lot on him for putting in shows and recs and a guy can only do so much right so uh, it's good to hear that he has a lot of support this time and uh, hopefully that keeps going. Now for those who are watching this who uh, maybe have never been to an MMA fight, uh, never been to a rec card, what would you say to encourage them to get out March 28th to watch the fights? It's something new you know it's uh, it's something that's a lot of fun if you've never if you've watched fights on pay-per-view on TV you it's very different you know live fights you feel the electricity in the in the air you can hear everything smell everything you know it's a uh, it's a lot of fun and what's great about Racket is that it's a really classy event uh, people you know can can dress up for it and uh, you know it's at the Hilton this classy events beautiful venue and uh, yeah it's just it's just all around a fun night you know for if you haven't watched MMA or maybe you watch MMA through TV, it's a whole different feel. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's boring to watch uh, baseball, I bet, on TV, but maybe live, I don't know. I, I want to go to a baseball game one day in the States and have the hot dogs and the, the big finger and all that stuff, so it's going to be good times. I can assure you that Rec MMA is a far more exciting live event than professional baseball. So if you want to see live exciting fights, UFC Mark Boots Holst, uh, veteran, is going to be there. March 28th, Casino Lac de Limi in Gatineau, Quebec. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you, Mike.